everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. Um, I, today is a come on by and have a cup of coffee with me. I sure wish everybody could do that, but unfortunately this is the best we can do and so we'll have to just settle for that. I had a cup of coffee earlier today and so I'm not having another one right now, but I am having a, a drink of pop. I, don't, I water my pop down all the time. I put a lot of ice in it and it melts and I water it down, but it, it, it gives it a little bit of flavor anyway. So I tend to do that. I've had quite a busy day. I haven't done a whole lot, but you know, I've kept myself busy and doing things that I'm just checking off my list. But I kind of feel like my meds are just about to wear off. And uh, so I thought, well, I'm gonna just sit down and talk to my friends for a little bit and then we'll, we'll take it from there. So I want to start off with a story. I think I'll just start off with a story. There was a time when I used to manage a bar and it wasn't a, a fun job because, you know, there's a whole lot of drunks and whatnot, but, but it was something that we did. So anyway, I was managing this bar for a while and then uh, the, the fellow that owned the bar, he was quite a good friend. And he said to me one day, could you work this weekend? And I said, I really can't. I said, I, we're trying to move, you know. So I said, I really can't. And he says, well, I, I kind of need you to, to work. And I says, well, I, I kind of need to get my stuff moved to the new house. He says, well, tell you what, how about you come in and work and I'll go help your husband move your stuff. I thought, you're getting the worst end of this deal, man, because I get paid for this and we're not paying you. <laughs> so you're getting the worst end of the deal. But anyway, I said, well, if you want to do that, that, that's fine with me. I'll come in and work. So anyway, I went into work. Well, right next, it was in a strip mall. Right next to where we were was a laundromat. And somebody had put a pair of greasy overalls into one of the dryers and they caught fire. Next thing we know, the bar is filled with black smoke. Smoke going, we didn't know where it was coming from. We just knew we were on fire. Trying to get a bunch of drunk people out of a bar they all were like, can we take our drinks with us? And oh, just silliness. But anyway, so they all finally all went out. I picked up the telephone. I phoned my boss and I said, you've got to come right now. I said, the bar is on fire. And he said, right. And I said, think about it, Dave. Would I call you away from moving my furniture if I wasn't serious? <laughs> I said, the bar is on fire. So anyway... Next thing I know, Dave is driving up like a banshee and whatnot. And he gets there and he goes, I can't believe that. He said, and I said, well, for me, you thought I would joke about it when you were helping my husband do a move? But anyway, we had to st close for the day because clearing all the smoke. Now, we ourselves were not on fire. It was right next door to us in the dryer. But anyway, they managed to, to put everything out and but it took a long time to get the smoke smell gone and whatnot. So we had the fans blowing for the rest of the night and oh my goodness, it was quite the quite the thing. But I always laugh at that. Oh yeah, you're just joking me, he says. <laughs> I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> anyway, so I, I don't know how I would get myself into those predicaments, eh? So that was what my story was gonna be today. I don't know, I'm just having one of those days where, you know, I I I'm thinking about a bunch of stuff that I probably shouldn't be thinking about because if I think too hard, you know, I'll come up with some problems and I don't really need to do that. So I'll just have to let things fall where they may. Claudine is so busy right now. She is just, because she has to have her surgery on Wednesday, she's trying to take care of everything that she possibly could do. She was out last night looking at a house for rent um, but there's quite a competition for it. We'd like it if we could get it, but there, it's uh, quite a competition. There was 20 people that went to uh, to view it. So I, I I don't know what they're looking for for a tenant. Like Claudine said, if you're looking for somebody who wants to stay long-term, that's us. If you're looking to turn this house over and sell it, that's not us. So, you know, she said it depends what he wants, you know. So we'll wait and see what happens. We'd like to get it, but we're not banking anything on it. But I said that would be really hard when she's having her surgery. It would be very hard to do that. But Cal says he'll get us done if we have to. 
So we'll see what happens. We should hear from him in the next few days. Um, and if we don't hear, then we can assume that we didn't get it because he was wanting to rent it right away. And we said we couldn't go in until the 1st of July because I said Claudine cannot go anywhere with her situation. She has to at least have a couple weeks at home. And then we'll have her stuff all moved and she'll just have to change from one bed to another bed. But uh, still, she she can't can't be moving around too much and whatnot. But anyway, I'm not sure whether we'll get it or not. And if we don't, well, then there's just something better around the corner. And let's see, what else are we doing? Um, I don't really think that I'm doing very much. Played a couple games in the Yahtzees today. And uh, that's about all we have done. We also started a new uh, dice game. We're having a little trouble figuring it out. Um, we saw Kevin and Kelly play Quarkle with these dice. And so we purchased it because we thought it looked like an interesting game. I, I think you got to be fairly smart to do it. <laughs> I'm having a heck of a time trying to figure it out. But um, I am getting there. I think that if we play it a few times, we'll, we'll eventually get it figured out. So, anywho, that's, I think, everything that I was going to say today. And I sure hope you had a cup of coffee with me this morning. And we will chat with you all again tomorrow.